Hey Rob, since it's your birthday, me and Graham wanted to write you a poem, but since one of us is in Salt Coats, and one of us is in Rochdale, we decided we'd each write a separate poem and then splice the two together for no apparent reason. So um, please don't be confused uh, by the completely different storylines that seemingly uh, follow on from one another. That just They're two separate poems. And uh, enjoy. His hair will wave to you as you pass, and his eyes will call you over to him. You'll hear such poetry in the way that he laughs, and you'll hear sweet music when you see him grin. The stars shone down upon the rocks that towered above the peaceful town. The geese slept quietly in their flocks as the weary panda bears lay down. His stare will feel like a warm embrace, and his touch like a gentle caress. When he whispers your name, it will flow over you like lace, and take with it all the pain and sorrow you possess. Rob Lowe climbed up the mountain face. He had nice eyes and long brown hair. He hiked with an effortless grace for his platonic love affair. And then, in one swift and gentle motion, he'll cut you down the middle with a rusty blade. And he'll find eating your guts an attractive notion. So he'll feast on them as the light in your eyes fade. Rob reached the top before too long, and there he saw his dear comrade standing before him tall and strong. Extremely handsome, might I add. Just leave your kidneys, your liver, your ass and your brain And down his throat all your blood will flow And then he'll let out a laugh, both sad and insane For it's his birthday after all, and he is rather low Rob took a rest for a short while His journey now was at an end He said to his chum with a great big smile John Gillespie, you're my best friend <laughs>